Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. And we are following two breaking stories off the top here at 5, and they're connected. First, live pictures of a crash involving Detroit police. This is at Evergreen and West Outer Drive. Let's begin, though, with what those officers in the crash were responding to, and that was a shooting outside Henry Ford High School on Detroit's west side. Officers were called to the scene in just the past half hour. Mara McDonald is there for us live. Mara, what can you tell us so far? Kimberly, first of all, the chief is on the scene. We're, accept we're expecting an update shortly, but let's begin here. This is Henry Ford High School right here. This is where this student was coming out of, and I want to give you an idea of how close this shooting scene was. Do you see the gray car over there? That's where this student was hopping into a car with his grandmother. Now do you see all the yellow shell casings that are on the ground? That is how many shell casings police have found. This student was shot at multiple times. Um, viewers who live along Evergreen were First of all, they heard the gunshots, but they got their phones rolling. Take a look. You can see how quickly help arrived to try and help this young man who was on the ground. Um, neighbors telling us th that they heard it. Oh, hold on. Chief is speaking. Stand by. Chief, just FYI, we're live. Okay, thank you. Um, so this happened approximately 340 uh, at dismissal. Uh, we're working in collaboration with DPS uh, Police Department. Uh, the chief is here, Chief Jackson. Um, here's what we know right now. At this missile, DPS had a vehicle here. They do that commonly uh, to handle dismissals. Uh, as they were doing dismissals, one of the lieutenants heard gunshots. Uh, he rushes over to uh, what appears to be a gunshot victim. Once he gets there, he does see that it is, in fact, a gunshot victim, uh, a 16 year old who is suffering from uh, at least two gunshot wounds. Uh, down the street from this location, just a, a few yards up, is another gunshot victim also suffering uh, from two gunshots. Uh, and uh, apparently uh, that victim was headed to his grandmother's car. His grandmother's actually waiting inside the vehicle uh, when he was struck. Uh, both were conveyed to an area hospital. Thankfully, both uh, are in temporary serious condition, so the, the, the injuries are not fatal. Uh, as I indicated, we are working in collaboration with DPSPD. Uh, they have a lot of good information, evidence uh, that they've recovered. Uh, we're going to be looking at some video here soon, and we'll be putting out a vehicle description uh, and a perpetrator description. Right now, preliminarily, uh, until we get the video uh, downloaded, uh, we are looking for three African-American males. Uh, one is described as light-complected. Uh, at least two of them are wearing masks, possibly all three are wearing masks. They circled this area a couple of times before uh, they did the shooting, so we're working uh, to get some, some video assets from some areas around here. We believe we're going to have some good ring doorbell uh, video footage here pretty soon that we'll be pushing out to the media. Uh, we also may have a name on the suspect, but it is a juvenile that we're looking for, so I cannot release the name. Uh, but we're going to relentlessly work this case, uh, working with them, and we're going to be uh, hopefully making an arrest pretty soon. No one else is at risk. Uh, no one at the school is at risk. Uh, and we know who we're looking for. This appears to be an isolated incident. This has nothing to do uh, with the school per se, but the conflict that these uh, two groups are having. Chief, what we're hearing is maybe some retaliation. Um, is that what you're hearing on the, on the streets here? Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of different uh, theories on what's going on. It's some, something that happened uh, perhaps a few days ago that uh, this one group is retaliating against. But we have our gang intel on the ground as well, and uh, we're pulling that information together. I, I don't want to put that out there right now because I, don't, I can't confirm it, but we're looking at every single angle. Just to clarify, these are both students of this high school? I do believe they are both students of the high school. And the shooter as well, Chief? I don't know that. I don't know that. Do you know how many shots were fired? Uh, right now, all I can confirm is that multiple, more than three, more than four gunshots were fired. Chief, we also understand that your officers were rushing over here to assist the people already on the ground and were involved in an accident where my colleague is right now. How are they? Well, I hear they're okay. Um, I've been getting that information. Obviously, they were rushing over here because this came out as a school shooting, uh, but we got to be careful. Uh, they're okay. I'm hearing that the citizens are okay. I'm going to be looking into that after I'm done here. And so this other, this other second person who was shot, they were outside of the car walking down the street and, and were struck by another bullet, or what, what exactly happened? Yeah, well, according to the, uh, the, uh, the DPS lieutenant uh, who was working this area for this missile, uh, they were both walking to vehicles being picked up 
uh, by relatives, parents, what have you, and that's when they were both shot. So no one was shot in that vehicle, right? No one was shot in the vehicle, uh, but at the vehicle. Chief, that's all we got right now. Too. All right, thank you. Chief, thank you. And again, you just heard from Chief White. So Chief White explaining what went down out here, that there were actually two students who were shot out here, both students here at Henry Ford High School. We, You also heard me ask the chief about an accident that is not that far away from here. That is where my colleague Victor Williams is right now. Victor, chief says that he thinks his people are going to be okay. What can you tell us about that accident? Well, you guys just heard from the chief, Mara. The two officers involved in this accident are expected to be okay. These guys out here just got done flipping over this GMC Yukon that had three children, two 16-year-olds as well as a six-year-old, but they're also expected to be okay. Now, prior to you guys coming right out live to us, this was turned over completely. Just quite the horrible scene. You can also see that Detroit police vehicle quite a lot of damage right over there. We're told that the lights and the sirens were activated when the accident happened. But uh, guess what, guys? Also, the mother ended up coming out here as well. And this is what she had to say, not knowing what was going on when all of this took place. Just any car. It could have been any car. It's worse. I don't know what happened. I don't know if they was on a run trying to go save some life. I don't know what happened. I just know it was an accident. You know, and I... I guess the police hit them. I don't know. I, I, I came from work, so I don't know how it went. I'm just glad that everybody's still alive. I'm hurt, shaking, just, just nervous, ready to get to the hospital. And you can tell from that video that she was very shaken up. But once again, it does look like everyone is expected to be OK after this accident happened where this SUV was T-boned by this police cruiser. On the west side, Victor Williams, Local 4.